I was really looking forward to 2020 because I thought we would get like a bunch of Barbara Walters memes. And this is 2020, you know? But that wasn't it. I'm Barbara Walters and this is 2020. Despite 2020 being the year that it was, the Disney Parks costuming department still managed to get out a couple new looks in both a brand new parade, some new costume variants, and a few brand new costumes that were released in the parks. So why don't we take a rewind back through 2020 and check out all the new costumes we saw that debuted in the parks around the world. The beginning of the year starts out like the beginning of almost every year with the new lunar year. And it's 2020 and it's a pretty good year for Mickey Mouse because this is the year of the rat. And in mid-January, Mickey and Minnie debuted to celebrate the new lunar year in these gorgeous new costumes. Uh, red and gold, top to bottom, Minnie is in this beautiful vest that's tasseled. Mickey has this really great and unique kind of gold detailing that runs up the middle of his outfit with some very shiny gold pants. You know, I'm hard pressed to ever say that Mickey doesn't look good in gold pants. He always looks good in gold pants. <laughs> They, they, of course, roll out a new kind of look and design for every new Lunar New Year celebration in the beginning of the year. And uh, in Disney California Adventure, this look premiered in January 17th. And then over in Shanghai Disneyland in January 25th. And uh, I love these looks. I love this look. It's a really great, fun, fresh, festive variant on the Mickey and Minnie outfit. And during this event, of course, the rest of the gang was there. They were all just wearing their typical Lunar New Year outfits from previous years. Really didn't get much of an update, but this year, Mickey and Minnie saw some new threads. Rolling into February, as the entire world slowly began to fall apart, Pixar was still on track with their brand new film, Onward, where Ian and Barley Lightfoot, two, you know, fatherless elves, roam the land with the lower torso of their dad, trying to... Listen, it was a great movie, actually. I enjoyed it a great bit. And Ian and Barley were played by, uh, of course, Chris Pratt and the Spider Kid, uh, Tom... Thomas... Thomas... Tommy... Tom Holland. Tom Holland. <laughs> the Spider Boy. The Spider Boy. I'm a boy. I mean, I'm a, I'm a man. Funny thing about these characters are they really took a lot of the uh, like kind of the characteristics of those two actors and kind of really injected them into the designs in the film. And now, you know, 3D printing the way it is, they were able to just take the designs of both Ian and Barley and just kind of toss them over to the costuming department and they just spit out uh, 3D printed versions of the heads of the characters. Their first appearance, of course, being February 18th at the world premiere of Onward at the El Cap Theater in Los Angeles. Leading forward with their eventual debut in early March over in Disneyland California Adventures, Pixar Pier during the Pixar Night. And of course, they were paired with a really cool backdrop in uh, Pixar Night with Guinevere, the van, uh, and like the staff with the magic crystal. With Barley, it's it's fun. He's got that big, you know, vest on with all the really cool patches, some thick arms, some thick... I mean, Barley's a thick elf, all right? He's got the thickness in the legs, in the arms, in the neck. He's just kind of thick all around, which is juxtaposed strongly next to Ian, who is essentially a thin, awkward rail of an elf. This whole, this whole body language that he's got where he's always just like, mm, you know what I mean? What really particularly stands out for me with the Ian costume is his wig. The, the hair work on that costume is like practically flawless. If we could all just wake up with such gorgeous set hair, really cool characters rolled out, I can't wait to hopefully see them, be able to interact with them more in the parks down the line. Same month that Onward debuted, we also saw the debut of a brand new parade at Disneyland inspired by the music and smooth moves of Todrick Hall. I'm talking about the Magic Happens Parade, all right? And everyone's doing, there's more of this. There's lots of this, actually, lots of this. 
It's actually a really, really fun parade, a lot of really fun modern music. And what we got were lots of new costume variants, such as Mickey's new sorcerer costume, this fun blend of blues and purples and golds, and this kind of reflective, interesting fabric and material. The whole gang actually got new looks, uh, new outfits. Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Donald, they all had kind of fun variants and vests and hats and things to wear and dance around in the parade. The parade featured all kinds of units, uh, such as Moana and, uh, you know, and Cinderella. Lots of costumes we've already seen before or only had kind of modern variations. But the Coco Float featuring this absolutely gorgeous, like, flower petal bridge and some really fun uh, characters from the movie, including that huge, like, dog, bird, cat thing uh, it, it, that kind of, like, walked down the parade. But we got a Miguel costume. Uh, in some really fun uh, traditional robes with his, uh, with the, you know, the guitar, da 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 remember me. Hopefully we're going to see a lot more of him in Epcot in the Mexico Pavilion in, you know, in the near future. Maybe he's going to unthrone, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about this. He might unthrone Mexican Donald in the Mexican Donald meet and greet. I didn't even think about this. Where else are we going to meet Donald in a poncho? Oh, we got to write some letters, guys. <laughs> No, I'm really excited about this. And again, a really another beautifully designed costume. We saw a front from Frozen 2 in that parade, featuring a lot of the outfits that we've already kind of seen and we've already talked about, like in our other Elsa video. There's a card somewhere popping up right now, and you can watch it! I don't know where they are, where it is. It's somewhere around here. If you see it, click it. The pumpkin float that Cinderella was in. Chef's kiss, gorgeous, loved it. Sword in the Stone float. We got a new kind of jazzy Merlin. He was doing a lot of this. Merlin was moving in this parade. He was moving. The next sections featured, of course, Tiana from Princess and the Frog, old costumes, but the creme de la creme, the piece de la resistance of the Magic Happens Parade, of course, has to be Aurora from Sleeping Beauty in the final float, wearing a dress that transforms from pink to blue as she dances. What? Are you kidding me? This is gorgeous! This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. This is beautiful. I love this. You know, a lot of these promotional videos, a lot of the things we're seeing are daytime parades because um, they were from previews and stuff like that, but this is actually supposed to be a nighttime parade. Uh, and so the effect of this, you know, dress spinning at night, properly lit in this parade, it is an insanely beautiful effect. September 1st rolls around and we get a brand new addition to the Duffy's and Friends lineup. Listen, if you don't know about Duffy, drop me a comment. I'm happy to make a video talking all about Duffy and his friends because each of his friends serve unique purposes in order to get the people to spend their money, all right? Including the new introduction of Duffy's turtle friend, Olumel, who is this adorable little turtle. I believe I'm saying his name right, Olu, Olumel. But he's this adorable little turtle. He's got a great design on his turtle shell, playing his little ukulele. And he's a representation of the Alani Resort for the Duffy and Friends. My gosh, over in Asia, Duffy is, people could honestly care less about Mickey. I mean, it's, it, goes, it goes Minnie Mouse, Duffy, Maybe then Mickey, I don't know. But I'm just saying is Mickey and Minnie and Duffy are up there, all right? People respect the two, okay, is what I'm trying to say. And uh, I'm excited to see this new character. Just, you, know, you give me any kind of Polynesian, Alani, Tiki representation and any kind of lineup of silly characters, I, I, I don't know, I need to order one of these little turtles. I love this little turtle. I want it and it's absolutely adorable as a costume character. I sign off on it. Late September, as always, you know, typically the tradition in Magic Kingdom is, you know, by the time we've reached 115 degrees in the middle of the dead August heat, it really inspires them to roll out the Halloween decorations. But this year was a special time, uh, things were delayed, and so it took until late September for Disney to kind of like lean into the idea that Halloween was a thing. And with that, we got uh, a new Mickey costume that debuted, of course, in the social distancing measures. No one got to actually meet this Mickey, and all of his friends were wearing their typical costumes that they've worn in years prior. But we got a fun new kind of Mickey Jester costume out there, uh, where he was waving around, you know... Oh, 
Isn't Mickey the king of Disneyland or like Magic Kingdom? Why is he dressed like the jester? All right, that makes absolutely no sense. Goofy should be the jester. Mickey should be the one wearing like robes and royalty and stuff. Anyway, they did it. It was a choice they made. I would only assume that all the characters had costumes designed and lined up to debut, but once the world started falling apart, they probably had Mickey mostly done, so they just like, bang out Mickey. I'm sure there's some phone calls I could make to maybe check up on whether or not that theory is true or not. I won't be making those calls though, but if you know, leave a comment below. Last but not least, and I'm, I, I, I seriously, honestly mean this because I'm super excited about this character. We now have um, an Indian Disney Junior Royal Detective. Her name is Mira and her show is actually pretty gosh darn cool. And on October 10th, she debuted at Disney Hollywood Studios in the Disney Junior Stars Motorcade, where she has her own unique fun, I mean like the scrolling on the side of this car is beautiful. Again, social distancing measures, you can't actually shake her hand, but you can look at her from a distance on the top of a car. Despite everything that kind of happened, I still think it's pretty impressive that we managed to get that many new looks and new designs and new characters out in the parks, uh, considering the parks weren't even like open for most of the year, which I think is pretty wild when you think about it. So there you go. There are all the new costumes, I believe. If I missed any, make sure you leave a comment below and I'll share them on my social media. Speaking of which, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Patreon, come visit me, come find me, come join me, come follow me. Let's have a good time. Let's have some hoot nannies. Subscribe, like, comment, bells, ring them, do all the things, click them, touch that stuff over here, that stuff. Woohoo! Thanks for watching. You guys rock. Easily the best costume of this year has to be the Aurora dress that we saw featured in The Magic Happens. I mean, truly the pinnacle of, I'm like jaw dropped at how beautiful that dress is. Uh, really, really loved it. So let me know in the comments below which of the new costumes were your favorites uh, and which costumes you're looking forward to. You don't even, how can I tell you, tell me what costumes you're looking forward to see? Because you don't know what they're making. I don't even know what they're making. So I don't know how you could tell me what you think they're gonna make. I mean, by all means, if you wanna tell me, you can, I guess. But uh, there are the new costumes of 2020. Did we get it?